What's up, let's go, fans? Welcome back to Time Out. with me Rocky Padilla and today I'm with our favorite coach coach Gider Sibanas we're gonna catch up with him so coach how are you fine thank you bike 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 <laughs> okay that's good so welcome back to Indonesia now you with uh, Prawira Bandung we were worried as a basketball fans that we won't see you anymore on the court screaming because because we know that uh, staff at Jakarta uh, decided not to play again in the IBL and what was your reaction though when you found out about Stapak the team that you led to the championship last season, they won't they they won't be competing again in the IBL. Yeah, for to be open, it mm. was hard to to to, to know this mm. news. Uh, you know, after we won the championship, we wanted to change uh, to start the new era mm. of 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 uh, Stapak history in, in in the league, and we had all tools for that. But you know, sometimes there there's things that you cannot control, and. Uh, some cir circumstances made uh, it happen so yeah reaction wasn't the best uh, it, it, it hurt us a little bit not only coaches but also players also fans mm -hmm. but life goes on and you must move move forward and uh, looking to another challenges so and then I found uh, Pravira Bandung very quickly they, they contacted uh, organization is really promising they have they have vision to their future, so I was very self confident to to go there. So yeah, actually that was my next question, but uh, we were all surprised because when you signed with Prabhu Rabandung, there were no rumor at all that you were coming again to Indonesia. But what made you say yes to this opportunity? First of all, I like Indonesia as a mm -hmm. country, and uh, as you know, all all uh, conditions given that teams are giving that mm -hmm. taking care of, of coaches of players I like that the season is not um, uh, very very long you mm -hmm. know you're not overtired so you, you know a lot of good things uh, starting with fans finishing with Indonesian nature mm -hmm. so uh, I feel good there I feel like especially here like uh, second second year in a row I know what to expect I already s meet some uh, People which I already know, so it's uh, another type of relationships, another type of adaptation. So yeah, I'm enjoying there, and I, I hope to stay there longer. <laughs> okay, okay, coach. With Prawira Bandung, your squad, I could say, that very heavy in guards. You have Difta, Arif, Hans Abraham. I gotta see the list. Januar, Ramon, Danny. Do you see any similar similarities though with your? team from last season in Stapa? Oh man, it's new history and uh, mm. absolutely new roster. Okay. These players uh, are working really hard to mm. understand my system and uh, only time will show how they will make it. Mm. You know, I'm always telling if in month of February uh, my players uh, will find connection with me, relationship with me, mm -hmm. will understand my system, I will be happy. Uh, right now, to expect that it's it's not realistic. You know, last season I I tr tr had uh, problems with uh, Stapak as well. We started really slowly. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, a little bit shock for players, but you know they're improving. Uh, so now this is a kind of period when we are searching relationships with my players. You know, sometimes it's like in 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 big family. You know, sometimes you are you are arguing with them sometimes yeah. you're okay with them sometimes you know it's kind of daily routine so i hope we will find that relationships as, as quickly as possible but as i told february month we play what we want we're happy your big family just getting bigger yeah you just added firman yeah. to your squad uh what was your first impression of firman solid okay <laughs> <laughs> that's it <Yeah. laughs> but uh, we know that last time he he was playing with CLS and it was like probably four months ago, five months ago. So, how is he conditioning wise? Yeah, he, he actually to be open, I expected even worse. But okay. he came. He's he's a solid uh, man first of all. Mm -hmm. 
I think he takes care of his body and you know we started a little bit slower with him but now day by day he is better and better I think he still needs three three weeks four weeks maximum but mm -hmm. I do believe on January month of January he will be ready to regular season so you've been with this team for a month yeah. am I right uh, more already more. more one month 20 day, 50 days man 50 days yeah okay so and then you played twice already at Piala President well even though the first game like wasn't to your ex expectation probably but what do you think this team need to improve on before the season starts small details okay which matters you know all details matters and that that's we are working to every single day Sometimes I'm not happy that I must repeat the same and the same and the same, but this kind of process. Uh, some players catch it faster, some players catch it longer, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, that's a process which requires patience from me, first of all, and also patience from, from players. They, they, they struggle, you know. <laughs> I keep telling them, if I don't push you, I'm cheating you. So, <laughs> so you know, that's, that's the only way. That's the only way to to you know to push each other to push yourself every single day so you have a couple of trademarks as a coach one of them is you like your player to huddle yeah. every that almost every dead ball yeah. and now you can see a couple of teams do the same thing <laughs> same thing with that so what is your thought about other teams Stealing your idea. <laughs> yeah, I see you have good jerseys for the culture of uh, yeah. <laughs> for the, <laughs> for the Indonesian basketball. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy if somebody mm -hmm. steals my idea. I'm also trying to steal other coaches' idea. Mm -hmm. That's that's natural. Uh, you know, I have no, I haven't got 12 timeouts or something. So I'm every time telling for my players that when you huddle, you, this is your own timeout. Yes. I need coach on the court as well. I need voice on the court as well. I I need you guys to be more organized because. Uh, I cannot call so much time out, so use those times and, uh, you know, it's, for me, it's like uh, more team building, more, uh, I feel feel much more confident as a coach and I think players uh, feel much more confident as a, as a team as well, so a huddle is one of the key factors of the game, I will tell. Again, small detail, but everything counts. Yeah, I saw a couple of teams does that now. So. You're talking about voice on the court. From this team, who do you expect to be the voice on the court? That's what I'm still searching okay. and I can't find. So uh, I guess, yes, there are some experienced players uh, who I, I believe they have voice outside the court, but still I want uh, uh, voice on the court. The players who already know how to win, mm. for sure it's Arif, for sure it's uh, Raymond, for sure it's... Uh, uh, firma for sure it's uh, Difta so you know I expect them to, to, to be a vo because you know it's not about coach or something it's it's all about players anyway at the end of the day it's a uh, players game yes that's true so your assistant coach Joko yes. from Stavak now I think he's gonna be the coach for NSH yeah. um, do you expect him to run a similar place like you run last season? <laughs> uh, we already played with them. Yeah. We already played with them. I, I saw something. I, I, I saw <laughs> something, but you know, for sure, the coach coach uh, is also an experienced coach. I'm mm -hmm. happy he's stepping up in his mm -hmm. career. I will support his team in all games except when they play against us. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know, for sure, coach will see which which offenses runs good, which offenses runs bad, and he will choose. And at the end of the day, he will choose by himself. But I hope he will use something from us. I hope it will run uh, for him successfully. And uh, you know, best of uh, luck for him and for his team and for NSH organization. So last week was the draft. Uh, we're not going to talk about Jared Harper because we're still unsure about it. But we're going to talk about David Samuels and also. William Tinsley, what do you like about these two players? Ah, for sure, uh, David uh, will uh, add a size under the basket and mm -hmm. uh, how to say physicality, mm -hmm. which we really need. Uh, experienced player with uh, mm -hmm. already overseas experience, is not a rookie, so this this makes me confident uh, about his adaptation. Uh, talking about Tinsley, Tinsley is. Uh, is a little bit more question more questions but i believe uh, he he played in good level mm. 
uh, in NCAA. So uh, we see him as uh, four, three, three, four, uh, stretch four maybe mm -hmm. even longer because he has a uh, good shot, outside shot. We need uh, our big man to shoot. Also, he can. Uh, he can play D because he has good size. That's really important for us. So we expect nothing but the best from them. So and I'm sure they will uh, match to our team. So now we have three European coaches yeah. in Indonesia. Two just came. One is Coach Raiko for the national team, and then Coach Milos for the Satria Muda Pertamina. What do you? How? I'll, I'll change the question. How excited are you to face against? This European coaches. Yeah, that's new challenge and mm -hmm. that's a new, how to say, chance to learn mm -hmm. for me as a coach because uh, every single coach who wants to improve, he's searching for other coaches to mm -hmm. learn from. I hope they will teach me something. Uh, I hope I can steal something from them, and uh, I hope we will have good matchups on on every single game. Uh, that's 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 what really co every single coach needs uh, to 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 have those challenges, and I'm happy to to have some European style, Serbian style uh, in the league. Uh, so for sure, I, I will find something uh, familiar to our team, but also something new which I didn't experience. And this is how you grow up as a coach. Mm -hmm. So, last few questions. It's off the court questions. So, uh, I'm gonna ask you, what do you like to do during your downtime? Huh. <laughs> coffee time. <laughs> <laughs> coffee? Any specific coffee spot in Bandung that you like? Uh, for sure. I, I'm kind of traditional person, so yeah. I will go with Starbucks, you know. Okay, Starbucks. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hang out somewhere in the mall. Uh, somewhere you know to, to visit new places in the restaurant also uh, I'm trying to learn how to cook at home uh, <laughs> so you know there's you know there's only one practice usually per day but uh. the time is running so fast that okay. you 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 watch ah night time I watch Euroleague or Euro Cup that's that's my favorite uh, thing to do uh, to stay on that level, to stay on that, you know, uh, lessons of basketball. You know, I hope there's some days off, we can go somewhere around uh, Bandung to, to visit some places, maybe Volcano, maybe some uh, zoo or something, maybe, you know, to go around to, to, to enjoy, uh, uh, to enjoy some days off, to see the nature, to see how, how locals live and so on. So, you know, I think I will be occupied enough. When you watch Euroleague, it's 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Yeah, so when do you sleep? After Euroleague finish. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's tough, it's tough, but it's, it's worth. Okay. Believe me, it's worth. So you finish like at 4 a.m. What time do you have practice? <laughs> 8 30, 9 0 0, something like that. Yeah. You know, sometimes I sleep before Euroleague, sometimes, you know, after, but yeah. At the end of the day, it's worth. Favorite food in Bandung? Uh, our favorite Indonesian food? Chicken satay. Same or, like uh, me. Bakso. <laughs> bakso is good. But not spicy. Not spicy. You don't like spicy food? <laughs> no spicy, no. Okay, same like me then. Favorite sports other than basketball? Um, I would say uh, every sport, which is, which is with racket. Tennis, table tennis, badminton, squash, uh, also running. I'm I'm big fan of running. Uh, every time I have kind of opportunity, I will go. So yeah. Have a favorite tennis player? Maybe I will stay traditional, and I would say uh, Roger. Roger Federer. Yeah, he's uh, like solid, solid as a person, solid as a player, and. Uh, He's still in shape in this uh, in this age, so this makes him uh, to be really respectful. Okay. He's really good though. Last question, probably this is the one that everybody want to know. So you have an Indonesian girlfriend now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, that's good though. So hopefully that will make she will make you stay here longer. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so thank you, coach. Yeah. I really appreciate your time. <laughs> you thank, you. thank you, thank you. He's really shy. <laughs> no one, no one.
<laughs> so uh, you, you learn new languages already. Yeah. So good luck this season. Hopefully you can be successful too with Prawira Bandung. I really appreciate it. And I heard you got some gift for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is kind of uh, official uh, jerseys for warm up uh, okay. from Lithuania national team. I was with in the under 20 national team and every warm up we do, we wearing this. So it's really official, not wow. fake. Yeah, <laughs> I really, I really appreciate this. Coach. It's a little bit big. For I, you, oh, no, no, it's still, okay. Still I, I will use it when I travel somewhere States. cold. Yeah, 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 when I travel yeah. somewhere. So this is. Like that style. Yeah, big, so. yeah. This is really nice. I really appreciate it, coach. Once again, thank you for your time. So guys, uh, don't forget to support Prawira Bandung this season, and I will see you guys next video. Peace. See you.